Um, I'm on a, a panel um, for the AAE, believe it or not, and the AAOMR, which have been actually tasked by the AAE, a joint uh, panel, to put together uh, basically protocol and, and, and why comb beam could be used in endodontics. It's, it's kind of going quite, quite well. Marty Levin and myself are the chairs, and we have some great people working with us. And then um, Tom McClammy. You guys know Dr. McClammy. He's an endodontist in Scottsdale from Oregon originally, a real cowboy, still wokes and rides on the weekends. Um, he and I were asked, and we did a combing chapter for Co Steve Cohen's book, Pathways of the Pulp. So we're in the Joint Special Committee on Co Applications for, in Endodontics for CDCT, and our, pay, our first draft is, will be in on July 15th. So there's some keen interest there. I already talked about this. One thing that's very cool, and if, if I get a chance, although I know it's, I'm, I'm going to be going, I have too much information for you all today, but one of the things that I think is beautiful for a general dentist doing endodontic procedures or for an endodontist is to be able to change in the software programs, the one I use in particular, the vertical and horizontal angulation on the fly as you go. You've all done this. You've all taken an off-angled periapical radiograph to see that other root, okay, or those other canals. You don't have to do that. You can get the cone beam data in a small volume data set, and then there's just little scroll things that you can make it go, you know, horizontally, change it, and vertically. And think of an upper first molar. If this is the upper left first molar, this is the pallor root, these are the buckles. MB and DB as they DB2, DB, I'm learning all my endodontic stuff, okay? Anyway, if they're like this, how are you gonna get parallel? You can't. You put your image receptor in, nothing's parallel except on occasion the pallor root. So, you know, you can change this angulation, fine, but you know, you're gonna get distortion. In comb beam, if I want to look, if I'm if this is parallel to, to you know my data set, I can scroll through to find the pallor canal. If I want to just rotate the tooth like that and upright these, you know. Buckle roots, I can do that and scroll through them as well. I find more failed or residual endodontic problems in the comb. I'm always putting that in my reports. And most times the dentist will phone up or write back, or when I see them again, they'll go, That's, you know, this is great. I could never figure out why that tooth was failing. Okay. And we'll, we'll show you a couple of examples of that. Because this is probably one of the hardest radiographic procedures to do properly is an endodontic you know, image acquisition. Not only the initial, but then all the follow-up imaging. Um, first of all, just identifying the root itself, the root morphology, uh, the canals within, the local anatomy. As nice as those look, this is the Mailer process here. It's super, I can't find one apex that I can actually trace it to the end. Maybe here, maybe this one. But the rest, I don't know where those are. So there's tons of, you know, the, the, even the skill and, and you know, the, the technique parts. And then if you're still doing, heaven forbid, no, I'm just kidding, guys. If you're still doing film-based processing, I mean, you know, your chemistry is suspect, too. But take this example. This is very rare. But in this one, I can see palatal root and the mesial buccal, distal buccal roots all in the same image. That very rarely happens. But think about a lesion, let's say this isn't, this was just a big old marrow space, but let's say that's a lesion. Do you really think, you know, there's all the roots over there, do you really think putting an image receptor in here and then coming through malar process, root, sinus, bone, root, more bone, that you could actually see with a 2D image receptor something on the palatal apex there? You're not going to be able to. But when you can turn these images in all these different directions, I can tell you precisely, this first molar has that endodontic treatment. That's the palatal root, this is the DB, and there's a big old lesion on there. And this is just one thin section out of a small volume machine. They've got a big load of crap in the left antrum there as well. It's not a tumor. No, it's a failed root canal, okay? I also find what, you know, lesions that are there that may be asymptomatic, okay? But they're there, and that, that tooth will need treatment. I, I, here's a, a, you know, a root canal done on tooth number three on the mesial buccal root. There is a residual lesion. I, I find these all the time. 
Bay and for the international group, because I spoke in Canada a few times, it's 216, you know. The U.S. is the only place in the world that numbers them 1 to 32. Everyone else goes, you know, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, we don't know that. Uh, lots of endodontic papers. I mean, when we came across as a panel, the number, doing the research for the different sections, there were at least 117, 118 papers on the applications or uh, endodontic sort of applications for Colby. I like this one. It's an older case. It wasn't a very good uh, data volume, although they did have a nice scatter rejection program. So even though these restorations were there, they didn't scatter you know, through the uh, occlusal plane. But I want you to look at this. This is sort of towards the buckle. This first bicuspid had, looks like the, the root's going down there. We go a little bit further into the tooth, and lo and behold, there's either a division or a small calcification. And then as we go to the palatal side, it becomes patent again. So this is a reason that we send them to endodontics so they can beat their way around those things or find the, the diversion of the canals, okay? Or find the six six canals in the lower first molar, which I have seen. On occasion, I think I might be even able to see a lateral canal, but I haven't been able. I, I can't see it microscopically or histologically, so it's kind of tough. There are some